How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Trust Us Collectibles gameplay video. My name is Mike and joining me yet again is... Randall aka She's a Cats. What's going on everybody? Wrapping up the final gameplay of our Ayakashi content. Ayakashi Triangle content block. Going to be featuring two brand new decks this time. 8 Door versus 8 Standby. So I'm going to be piloting 8 Door. The level 1 door combo is actually from the trial deck and it's just a sicker's combo. On attack, mill 2, salvage level X or lower, the cumulative levels of the cards you milled. Into the level 3 Matsuri, which just like the theme of this set with the Suzu change, Matsuri does have a change for themselves. The change on this combo revolves around his male version and then using this event to bring out the female version. The female version on play, I can pay one to draw one and summon another copy of itself onto stage. So this is how we proliferate getting a bunch of these level 3s down at level 2. And then she has a climax combo on attack, pay one, discard one, burn three. And on my end, I'm going to be playing a standby. We're going to be using the level 1 Matsuri into the level 3 rail. So the Matsuri is, in my opinion, like probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest, costless level one standby combo mm -hmm. in the game. This card is just a uh, semi-targeted salvage on top of twin drive, on top of 4K attacker, or plus 4K on offense for a 7K attacker. Yep. Like this card is just super, super strong. And then the end game is going to be, uh, so the combo itself is on the rail. And the combo says when you have the standby climax in play, all copies of your 3-2 Matsuri healer gain encore step, pay two ditch one burn. And so uh, you can get Two burns if you have uh, two of one and one of the other. Mm -hmm. And then if you have like three of one and one of the other, you can get up to six. If you have two and two, you can get up to eight. Like it, if you have, you know, up like, to four, up to four. I mean, yeah, it's kind of casual, like one billion stock in, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like we are playing standby though. So this is true. So hopefully we'll be bringing out a lot of these without having to actually pay for them. Yes. And and then the combo can also be used for Matsuri's or Rayos that were not even on the stage at the start of the attack phase. So if you trigger yep. additional standbys in the middle of the attacks, you can bring out more copies, which can net you more burns. Yes. So that is going to be the idea of this deck. Yeah. All right. It's especially a potent strategy if you are playing against a deck that really wants to stay at level two because you do get so many more extra potential uh, swings to try to push into level three. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. What were you going to say? I was just going to say that like other than that, it's like a pretty conventional standby deck. Mm -hmm. We have a two, two. Uh, we like play a card that bounces back when we play a climax, yeah. and we have like, like your one one is uh, also a twin driver, right? And then your two two is a uh, is a is a kush, uh, yeah, the that, trigger confirmer. Yeah, the two two is exactly the Nino, the blue Nino. Yeah, uh, gains twenty five hundred for each of my other front row characters and has Krush. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll let Rando choose the first seconds this time. Um, second. Okay. And yeah, you didn't cut yet. Oh, oh. I get it. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's vice shorts. Start with our five here. And we're uh, pitching five. I'm pitching four. Oh, this is much better. Much, 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 much better. I much, hope much I can better. say the same, though with my opening hand, it should be pretty easy to say the same. Oh, Draw okay. for turn. Okay, so we do have the promo there from the recent shop tournaments. Yeah, so this is a monthly shop PR. Uh, the turn, it comes in play on reverse. Rush, rush one of our characters, search for a character. Mm -hmm. Uh, wowie. Okay. Wowie, wowie. Where do we start? Well, let's just clock a 3 2. Draw. Hmm. <laughs> Passing is always an option. Oh. I like passing. Nah, let's not pass. <laughs> All right, we're going to play our brainstorm. And attack with a brainstorm. This is a top check three brainstorm. Climax combo, we don't run it. Mm -hmm. Door, salvage, let's grab a. Well, actually, I kind of want this for some better selectivity. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's a zero. I think I'm more safe with zeros given my low level zero quality here. Take two. Okay. Go ahead. Draw for a turn. I'm going to start by clocking this 2 2 Matsuri. All right, we're going to play one of my favorite cards of the deck, the level zero Suzu. So this is a level zero bomb, and then on play and on attack, I can discard a character to draw a card. Very useful in standby decks. So we'll discard this, draw mm -hmm. a card. Uh, we'll play another one. We'll discard this, draw a card. Oh, there is so much filter going on. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. And... Let's see. I think I'm okay with just doing one this turn. Okay. Save the rest for future turns potentially. And we'll go into attacks. And I'm just gonna front. I'll discard this drop salvage and I'll draw a card again. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be for one, one. Cancel on one. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Clock our counter, draw two. Hmm. Right, we'll play a brainstorm. Though I don't think I will be swapping anything from my clock here. So we're just gonna park that because we want to use the brainstorm effect, pay out our climax. One, two, three, four, with. Okay, I'm gonna play. 3-5 Chaser. You can play that over here. I'll play the card I salvaged last turn over oh, there. Okay. Uh, on play, I will... Hmm. I'll clock this 1-0 to top check up to 3 and add anything I see from there. Hmm. Hmm, not bad. I'll grab this, pitch these. Sure. And I suppose because we did find this, we'll play it. Okay. So we'll play the Matsuri. Uh, she has the bell effect, so at the start of my opponent's back phase, I can pay one clock myself, bounce her to bounce one of my other characters back. And lets me be a lot more aggressive. All right, let's go into attack. We'll front here. Mm -hmm. We are tied for one. Take one. Dirt attack for two. Climb Cancel. Off there. Dirt attack with our 3 5 chaser. 4 2. Cancel again. Alright, here we go. Draw for turn. Um, I'll clock this level 0. Draw 2. <laughs> I'll play a Ricky. Pay 1. Clock myself. Unfortunate. Search for a level 1 or lower. We'll go ahead and grab Matsuri. On. Actually, hold on. Hmm. We'll grab Monstery. Check my waiting room again. Yeah, we'll grab this. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Cut. I'm also going to play this level zero Rio on play. Look at top card, leave it there, or send to waiting room. Um, I'm gonna leave that one there. I'm gonna move this here. And I'm going to play a standby to get my brainstorm. Okay. So we'll get the Brainstorm, and then I'll use this effect. When I play a Climax, I can return this to my hand to give one of my characters 1k power and Krush. Uh, we'll just give it, uh, we'll give it here so I can control the draw off this. Sure. Attack phase. Okay, I will activate my Balancer's effect, pay one, clock myself, balance these two, and then I'll move here. Sure. So I will side for two, two. Okay, two, two's good. And then I will direct. I'm going to use the Krush effect first. One, two. I'm going to leave this one on top. And then I'm going to discard Rio to draw this card. Got some synergy right there. And this is for two, three. Okay. One, cancel. 
Go ahead. All right, stand draw. Mm. And let's just clock a brainstorm. And level the one zero. Draw two. Wow, those are draws. Good draws, bad draws. They're pretty, pretty good draws. draws. Pretty good draws. All right, how many cards are in my deck? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I suppose I do want to brainstorm here. Yeah, brainstorm would be pretty prudent here. But let me see if there's anything else that I want to do here. Play brainstorm. Would you like to call clock swap? <laughs> you can put a card from your hand into the clock. I'm pretty sure for for fun. Wait, can you? I'm pretty sure. You it's if you do. Oh, it's if. Yeah. So we can't have, we can't do it for fun. For okay, fun. never mind. We cannot do it for fun. <laughs> Some other cards you can though. Yeah. And that was a miss. That was a miss. Okay. What is this one zero? This one do. If I have the Brainstormer in my clock, it becomes a 6-5-2 soul, and it's a JC otherwise. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I played against Kenshin, I kind of got bopped by that Kenshin, so uh, this was my inspiration for the one-off. The level one? <laughs> yeah. That card's, that card's broken, broken. Alright. Um, I think we just want to go through the rest of this deck, so we'll play three combos. Wow. I wish I had three combo. You too can have three combos, maybe next turn. I not drew two, so no. Go me. This turn? Yeah. Wow. That that was the wow. Wow. The draw two, draw two monsteries. One, two, three, one, All two, right. three, one, two. I, I will be okay with not drawing combo if I cancel these attacks. Okay. Make sure that we are playing the right climax. Resolve to give up being a guy. Yep. Okay. Start with the front. Climax combo, middle two. Yeah. Three or lower. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is this is from like the scene where like the first time he gets transformed, so like her hair is down, so that's how I remember it. Yeah. I think. I haven't seen the show. Should grab the level three. Yep. Trigger. Four two. Take two. We're going to Man. We're gonna level yellow, because uh I don't wanna level any of these red cards. And we have red here. Sure. Front. My last combo, build two. Two or lower, I'll just grab the two zero monster. Mm -hmm. Very weird saying that two zero. Right. Trigger four three. I said cancels. I said cancels. You oh, can have this God. one. All right. Dart. Build two. Zero. Uh, we'll grab the Shirogane level zero. This is a bonder to the two zero event, and when I'm level two, he can also change into the elder form. So that's what I'm going to grab. Mm hmm. Trigger four three. Surely I cancel this. Surely. Right? All right, I'm bringing. Oh. I'm bringing. I'm bringing out Rayo this turn. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Uh, well, we'll level this one one. Now it's just Udo's damage. All right, draw for turn. Yes. One two three four five six seven eight nine. So I can brainstorm here and then twin drive once. That seems fine. No clock. Brainstorm. Mm -hmm. Get one. Get mod three. All right, we're gonna play triple. Mm -hmm. And then play this on play, top check, top or mill. We'll leave it there. We'll play standby, bounce this back. We'll give it to the one on the left. Yeah. And we'll just Stand by out rail. <laughs> yep. And we're probably gonna start seeing some three twos. Probably. Okay. Uh, how many are you up? Seven in room. Seven? Okay, missing. Missing the level three. Okay. Alright, we'll start with a front attack here. Mm -hmm. I am at nine, five. Wait, no, not here. Front attack here. Front attack here. Yep. Because I wanna save that for later. Uh, this is gonna be eight, five for two. Yeah, I'd like two here. And then at the end of the attack, I reveal the top card of my deck, and I salvage equal or lower than its level. Ooh la la. And 
So Your I will... back row is global 15, right? Global 15, yeah. Okay. And then she has Clemex Clum with the other one. Yeah. Uh, with this, I'm going to grab... Oh, wait, no, not that. I can't grab that. Uh, I need to grab a zero. What zero. zero will... Maybe do I just get another Brainstorm? I can swap from Clock. Or maybe I get Climax Swapper. Is my Climax Swapper here? Climax Swapper is here. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and grab this. Okay, cut. So that was for two. two. Yeah. Refresh, take the two. Okay. Front here, uh, no twin drive. Trigger it. We will trigger. This mm -hmm. is for two. We'll put a 3 2 Matsuri. Yep. Right here. Matsuri says uh, if I have two or more other Omiko City characters, she gets plus 2k. So mm -hmm. she is 12 5 with the Rio. And uh, on play heal if I play her from hand. And uh, start off of start Encore. Of, start of Encore if I do not have. If, if all my front row are reversed, I can pay one wrestler. Pay one. Yeah. So for two. two. Reveal top, salvage, level one or lower. Yeah. Can I ask how many counter, what, what counters are showing in where you're going? Uh, one anti, one minus soul, two minus soul, anti-change. Okay, three kill motive? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna grab the monstery. Yeah. And then going to front here, pay one. Twin drive, pay that out. Yep. I, don't, I don't think I need a cruise here. So for one, Oh, uh, salvage? Oh, yeah, salvage. I'll get a bomb. Sure. Okay. How many going back? Uh, there are seven missing the one on the bottom of my deck. Okay. Go for turn. <laughs> now also as good a time as ever to change, I guess. These are four fives, right? Yep. All right. We're keeping these also. Okay. We're gonna clock our Matsuri bouncer and level her. Draw two. Let's start with a brainstorm. See what this will lead us to. One. Mm -hmm. Grab an anti change counter. Whoa, 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 let's talk about this. For now. Play the level zero Shirogani that we grabbed last turn. On play, we can pitch a card, salvage the two zero event. I'm gonna pitch our two two Suzu to grab the event. This here. Mm -hmm. Any chance you have the big cat in waiting room? I do not. Okay. I'm like almost certain I triggered a 3-2 here, but I'm not 100% positive. And that could break, make or break my line here. At the same time though, it honestly would not be too bad if I just comboed once, I suppose. Hmm. Really annoying that nothing in my hand pays stock. I think I'm pretty okay with changing ones. Right. 
I'm going to play the 2-0. Mm -hmm. And on play, I'm going to target the 3-2, so it cannot use, uh, you can't use uh, defense or backups. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to play right, the... Right, would, you, would you like to target with the other effect? Yeah. <laughs> Afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will blink your 3-2 in the back. Oh, okay. All right. Now, now I'm going to use the Secret Art Gender Swap Awakened. Uh, I can either salvage a level 2, or I can choose the effect where I can send this guy specifically to my waiting room. If I do, I can summon the 3-2 Matsuri. Mm -hmm. And on play, I will pay one to draw one and summon a copy over self. And I do not. Okay. So, like, how good do you feel like this combo is at 2? So, uh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do want to kill your guys. At least make you pay a stock. Mm -hmm. Um... So I'm going to try to apply some pressure now, and then I'm going to save the rest of my Machuri, I think, just re to be very reactive. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be my game plan here. Um, now, unfortunately, this doesn't really leave me with a character that I can contest a 1-0 with, but at the same time, I would rather just have you lose the 3-2 so that you can't pay one Encore. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play the level 0 Machuri. Right. Uh, have them um, kill these two lanes, and then we'll just side this one. Okay. All right. So cool. these are gonna tie then, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me double check. I still don't have the count in here. I'm pretty sure I don't. Wait, how big is this one again? It's just ten, no? Oh wait, no, you're twelve five, eh? Yeah, I am twelve five. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be big enough. Hey, that's unfortunate. Hey, <laughs> swap. Hey. Man, where's my kitty cat? <laughs> How many are you running? Just one. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't really sure if I had to run 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two seemed a bit of a bit cloggy. Now, at the same time, though, this is like the exact power line that would like really screw me. Mm -hmm. But I guess this is also the same power line as Muron, so I really should... Consider more about running two copies. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, what can you do? Let's kill two guys, call it a day. Mm -hmm. Alright. Actually, I really should do this, eh? Inside here, ping off the climax. How many cards do you have in your hand? Full hand. Okay, yeah. We'll do this. Mm -hmm. Side? Yep. Salvage. Alright, what is your hand size? It'll be six after I salvage. Okay. I'll go with three, two. And tap. Okay. Okay. On the front, K1. Pitch. Burn three, right? Burn three. Okay. Trigger. Salvage. Alright, no. Actually. I'm gonna grab a top three top three brainstorm. Or top, top check three brainstorm. Cancel. Okay. We'll crash here. My dog! There it is. Cancel. Dog! <laughs> dog! My dog! <laughs> what's, Cat! What's up, my dog? <laughs> what's up, my dog? <laughs> Hello? Uh, uh, woof, woof, woof. Alright. <laughs> okay, draw? Yep. Is this worth it? Hmm. I think this is worth it. Okay. Hmm. Let me just chill. Chilling's cool. If you do that, then it's fine, probably. You have to pay a lot if you want to do that. I'll go to. I'll go to attack phase. Yeah. 
Good? Yeah. All right. So we'll direct here first for three. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... So I'll front here. Mm -hmm. I'm 12 5. Mm -hmm. Krush. Uh, this is for three. Okay. Um, maybe back up. Sure. How much? Two? Three. Three. Okay. Okay. So that puts you at 13 to my 12 5. Mm -hmm. And then I'll front here for two. He's good. Oh. Damage. Mucho Damagio. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Stand draw. Seem to always be here. Yeah, I mean, I'm part of the game, and it's not as if we're in a terrible position here. Okay. Um, I will note though that the fact that your level three, your main level three, does not heal, is, is not helping. Not helping here. Yeah. No clock. I'm gonna use this mm -hmm. to salvage. Zero. Mm-hmm. Brainstorm play pay one triple combo. All right. Unless there's a better way to cheat out three. I don't think I see it though. Maybe I just do two? Am I assuming I have a more, another turn here? I could just this time kill the Matsuri, leave the one zero behind, and have you have those extra burners. Or play the Matsuri. Actually, no. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna play that and once again, mm -hmm. not allow you to use counters. Yep. We are going to change. Mm -hmm. And I will pay one. Just draw one. And I get to summon another copy, which I will not. Okay. How many out? Five? Five. Okay. How many of each? Uh, three level one, two level three? Uh, three level three, two level one. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna play a healer. Mm hmm. Put this here. Still not big enough. She's still here. Yep. Check one your room. But does this does this put me back at three zero? And do a double combo, which is I think fair. Okay. I think at this point we can just crush the cat. I also want to swing for three more, which is, that's also fair. Kitty cat. Or crush with a dog. <laughs> 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 
My dog. My dog. <laughs> my main man. My wolf. I have like no triggers left. I just want to. I just want to do damage. Okay. Right. Okay, one. Okay. Front. I am smaller. Yep. Salvage. Actually, if my next turn is going to be very stock deficient because I'm burning. I want to use this to find more climaxes. So I'm going to grab the monstery. Okay. All right, that's for three. Cancel. Okay. Direct on attack, pay one, discard. Cancel. Five. Okay. Uh, bomb. Okay. How many waiting? Five? Five. Two level one, three level three. Five. I'm pretty tempted to side here. Because I don't think... Oh, if I side, then it technically gives me more chances of lethal if I stick to three and two. But also more importantly, I think it'll help me try to stick any one of them with a higher frequency if I side for the two. It'll help me try to kill him a bit easier next turn. So we're mm -hmm. gonna side. Mm -hmm. Pay one. Discard. Burn three. No. Oh Alright, well now we just have a two for lethal. Side for two. Cancel. Alright, here we go. Stand and draw. Mm-hmm. One card in hand. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three. How many three twos am I out? One, two, two. I think it's better if I hard clock here. Your 3 2 monsters do heal on play. Clock draw 2. Okay, we drew one of the two. Uh, on play, I will pay one, discard one, salvage one. Because mm -hmm. I need a healer. A healer. And then I. Oh, I top check to rearrange. Yeah. And then, yeah, top your two range and then, then salvage. Then right? salvage. Yeah. yeah. So I'll get this. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And I think that's about it. Yeah. Play climax, see where we go. And get a double burn. Yeah, I'm gonna play this. Yeah, top check, leave it. And, um. Yeah. I think that's really all we can do here. So. Play. Bounce this. I'll give it to this one. Mm -hmm. Stand by this out. Chonky, chonky girls. Alright, we'll go direct first for two. So now you're out eight. All eight. Okay. All right. Front. Krush. For two. Okay. 
refreshing with seven. Gonna try to stick three twos. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tap. One, two. That's one two down. Refresh. Front. Four two. Three. Okay. Encore step. Double Climax refill. combo. Yep. So, uh, while I have this in play, oh, they're even bigger than I thought. They get one thing power. Uh, so they get 1k power and they gain the ability at start of Encore Step. I can pay 2, discard 1 to deal 2 damage to my opponent. So, so we're going they're to... They're like 16k, right? They're 11... Yep. yep. 16k. Pay 2. All ditch. Right. Just need to cancel twice. Easy peasy. Ditch. I literally can't clock anymore. Burn 2. Okay. We got him. Got Let's go. Him. This All card right. really ups the pressure though. For real, for sure. It, yeah. it kind of has a feeling of like a uh, D-side. But with not but not with healing. Yeah, it's um one of the harder aspects of the Matsuri finisher when you go in super on early playing is that you have no resources on the follow up turns, especially if these get answered. Right. Right. Because you're paying one to summon multiple copies, and then every time that she attacks, you're paying one, discarding one to burn three. Mm -hmm. So you really need for the burn threes to apply a significant amount of damage. To the point where your opponent is probably... You're hoping to hit them to like mid-level 3 probably. To like desperation point, basically. Right, so yeah. it's like next turn, assuming that all your Matsuris get answered, hopefully they're at like 3, 2 or higher, and then you just try to go in with like some weenies or something. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the time, that's just not how it's going to work. So in the games that I was testing the feel for like how much I should go in for this deck, Whenever I went for three, it always felt really bad. Um, assuming that they always get answered and stuff, because I would ha basically have like no follow-up play. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think that the one or two, like the first turn, I probably would have liked to do two, but I just didn't have the second copy. But I think doing maybe like two at a time, mm -hmm. I think is still really strong. Um, and then you can just do like this draw on the second one and then no summon. Um, doing two will help you probably get off like another two the following turn, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, I also think that like if you were able to get the the bigger cat out, like I think on average it lets you like assuming you play two Matsuris, yeah. I think on average it'll probably help one of them live because they go to twelve k yeah. on defense. Yeah, because the big the big dog is my big dog. Is a uh, front fifteen if I have the event in memory, and the way the event goes to memory is just through a change, mm -hmm. and then otherwise it's front five hundred. Um, so like the third one is it's it's not necessarily diminishing returns, and that like you'll still get the burn three on the combo, but it's going to be a lot harder to protect it compared to um, you know it's hard to say. I, I feel like it's very, it's going to be very matchup dependent, and no matter which matchup, if you hit your opponent level three, they're just going to answer all your monsters anyways, most likely. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it probably comes down to how many how many resources you have after you go for triple. If you do want to go for triple, and if it's mm -hmm. very few, you might want to consider just not going averaging out the pressure a bit more, mm -hmm. so that you have like a pretty decentable decent like level three game enough to push them to level three especially for like the decks that really want to stay at level two maybe you put on like double matsuri and you have a very high chance of pushing them to level two so you go for that or pushing them to level three so you go for that line and then they're just forced into this really awkward position where their entire deck really wanted to stay at level two but then you put into three yeah and then next turn you could go for like another two or something yeah i mean like i feel like that's how that's kind of like how D side played because D side when you went yeah. for the two the, the level threes at level two yeah like they basically never went for triple either exactly so I think yeah. you just like you you put enough investment into the level two play mm -hmm. to have a significant amount of pressure and then you finish them off with like you can you you put enough pressure at that point in the game that you can have like a like kind of a half level three turn yeah. and still gets the job done. Yeah, I think the biggest strength of the Matsuri is that it accelerates your opponent's uh, timetable 
potentially by one whole level. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, oh, if they did their level one combo and look for a bunch of their level two pieces, like, expecting like, they to they look, have a level two game. Like they look for like early play heal or something. Yeah, and exactly. It's like, and it's like surprise, you're three already. Yeah. Nice so you get, just by the nature of like how games play out, you normally look for like. When you do your level one combo, you search for the pieces that you would play your following turn, not necessarily like your like finisher level threes, right? Mm -hmm. So, I think in that sense, I think the mod three can be very powerful, but um, at the same time, um, super resource intensive. Mm -hmm. You're basically just dragging your opponent into this very accelerated mid to late game and into this very low resource game too, which fair sounds right? like sounds like we need June to play this deck. <laughs> That's June's favorite play style. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, honestly, it, the actual pieces themselves are all, like, pretty good, I think. Like, being able to make sure that your mastery is always going to be safe by the card that you need to change into it. Yeah, it just so happened that this game, I was just big. big. Yeah, I just, I, I couldn't get the, the, the animal. Um... Yeah, I, I also yeah. I also very much appreciate the flavor on this card and the whole the whole package. Yeah, because like he does the whole like exercising the spirits, mm -hmm. and then the girl Matsuri goes in for the attack. I think that's the, very the, nice. The attack, the bedroom attack. I yep. guess. <laughs> <laughs> One kind, some kind of attack. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Um, it's a very aggressive deck, and I do like the flexibility it offers. Uh, I think the biggest skill expression with this deck is knowing when to go. Perhaps you see an opening, or depending on the matchup, you do go all in on the triple Matsuri. In which case, you do have to try to set up your hand like uh, in the first... Even at the start of the game, you do have to prepare for a bit more. Mm. Uh, compared to a game plan where you are trying to just be a bit more evened out uh, when you hit level 2. One or two Matsuri the first time. Two Matsuri's maybe the second time. Um, just depending on what you're playing against and what game plan you think they want to go for. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I also, cool I also think that uh, another thing probably uh, in this deck in particular, just because of the way the tempo of the game is, I feel like, uh, and also the resources, mm -hmm. I feel like if you like trigger like one early door, sometimes you might just want to like let it sit there. Because mm -hmm. if you if you speed the game up to the point where like the number of climaxes in your deck over a long period of time don't matter as mm -hmm. much, and uh, you can just make a lot more out of the extra resources that you save by not paying it out. Right. I think that could potentially go a long way for this kind of playstyle. Right. I think in, in particular, I think, for example, it's like if I try lane at level zero and I trigger first climax door, you're like, okay, sure. It's not going to matter as much compared to uh, the decks in which you play like a more drawn out long game and mm -hmm. you do need that one extra climax which can potentially convert into one or two cancels for the rest of the game. Right. This game, you're like, you're probably not even going to refresh twice with this Matsuri deck. Mm -hmm. You're just probably, you refresh once, go to level two, Matsuri, Matsuri, and then uh, someone's probably going to be dead by the time you hit second refresh. Yeah. So how how hard were you prioritizing holding on to the event in this deck? Because you have the level zero can grab it, right. and then you can also draw it off of potentially the three twos when you come and play and you draw one. So like you have more I wasn't than normal. prioritizing them that much mm. uh mostly in terms of just like open mulligan i was prioritizing just finding playables and then there was i think the situation in which i could clock my memory kick counter or the two zero event or like get rid of one of them and i just got rid of the two zero event because the response to it and I also run four copies mm -hmm. so i was more keen on like hiding the fact that i had this in their hand um so it was like this climax level zero and one playables and then like this mm -hmm. and i was like i can find this later something like that it, it kind of just, I feel like it'll just eventually come because you have like the cat and the event. Um, right. And also because I was in the mindset where I was not going to go for like that big all in game plan. So I was more liberally throwing these and like the twos away, the three twos away. Mm -hmm. um, another thing with like trying to go for like ho hoarding your hand and, and then like going all in at level two is that like if you, if you, if you cancel at level one and your hand is just twos and threes. You I know, I know all about that. Because yeah. <laughs> like this game, I refreshed at like one, one, one or one zero, and there was definitely a situation in which I could have just not had playables if I went for like a line that, um, if I went to gather all my twos mm -hmm. and threes and stuff. Right. So, just trying to be more conservative overall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how about yours, deck? Uh, we took a uh, oodles of damage uh, in the early game, unfortunately, but. I mean, standby is like fairly okay with taking oodles of damage. Yeah. Um, 
one thing so like i didn't actually have this on the last turn but like i definitely think that like you could side here to play when you sided here mm -hmm. you're also simultaneously playing around this card mm -hmm. uh so like that's one thing uh, I ended up getting it on the last turn. I was, I was already 3-6, so like, okay. Yeah. Um, I am a huge fan of this combo. Like, I think that the fact that it is both a selective plus, like, even though it's, like, semi-selective, right? Uh, on top of Twin Drive, on top of just, like, being a relatively large offensive attacker, like, mm -hmm. this card is just, like, the whole package. The only thing that this card is, like, really weak to is somehow getting memory kick countered i guess because it's at the end of attack sure sure but yeah. like apart from that it's literally guaranteed card advantage yeah which like you can't say about a lot of other costless combos like you look at other standby combos like kaguya needs to reverse mm -hmm. utaha needs to reverse mm -hmm. um kaede from like bunny girl like those all need to reverse and then this mm -hmm. card is just like hey guys i'm gonna swing for 7k and get you a card for fun in twin drive yeah like i think this card is just like super i think crazy. This, this card is just like the upgrade of well, you can't really say it's an upgrade of Princess Bubblegum because, like, one gets you stock, one gets you hand, technically, but, uh... This gives you both hand and clean triggers and potentially more triggers. And, mm -hmm. like, the thing with us, with selectivity in standby decks, I feel like you would want to salvage your level zeros the most anyways, because the higher level cards are just things you're going to standby yeah, out. literally, like, at... So I, you just want beat, you just want counters. Yeah, literally, my hand, for, like, the last two turns of the game, was, like... I think this is my hand. So I had, I had Climax Swap... Draw a ditch, pay one sack, top four, brainstorm. I drew this at the end. Yeah. Draw zero, a ditch. zero, 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 zero. Like literally just, just like zero. All zero, utility. Zero. Yeah. All utility. Yeah, it's literally just like you get the stuff you want anyway. It's like polka. Yeah. Polka is just like, oh, I can't salvage anything other than a zero because I have no I have no cards in memory. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna <laughs> grab exactly what I want. <laughs> yeah. Um so I I I definitely feel like this is like my kind of way to play standby. Mm -hmm. Um also the additional deck control off of the two two is really, really nice. Uh, you just have like a lot of deck control overall with cards like this. Yeah. With cards like that, this card is like so good. Yeah. Like double ditch draw on a bomb. Like. Yeah, because usually yeah. the big weakness of running these hyper utility cards is that they can't actually contest your opponent's zeros. Mm -hmm. But here you have a hyper utility card that reverses all zeros. Yeah. So exactly. And so like this game went super fast, but like let's say like the game went on like one turn longer and you right? had like eight stock or something if it went one turn longer and i have eight stock i'm burning you for two four times because yeah. this one gives it to these two and mm -hmm. this one gives it to these two so yeah. there's four instances so you can go two 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 so like this is kind of like how silly this deck can actually kind of become yeah in the late game yeah so i am pretty big fan of how this plays out yeah do you think that now that we're wrapping up like Aikashi overall, do you think that there's any merit in trying out like the standby level one or like the win level one in decks that aren't meant to be in their eight standby or eight win builds? Or do you think that like at least from a like more competitive standpoint that like eight pants is really the only deck that is worth kind of like considering for something like a bigger, uh, more important event? So I guess the, the first the first thing that I want to look at is like level one standby plus other. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like it would fit well with the door or pants games mm -hmm. because just because of the way that they like to abuse their level twos that come into play before changing. Yeah, like their all play just, effects are really good. Yeah, there's just way too much impact there. And then if you want to play some other level two that you could bring out, it's just like you're kind of just taking up deck space from because their packages are like fairly large, right? Yeah. You have to play you have to play their level twos and their level threes, and then. Uh, in the pants deck, you don't necessarily have to play the red event, but I think it's really good in that particular deck just to grab you your pieces, right? right. So it just takes up a lot of space mm -hmm. uh, that you can't really commit towards standby stuff. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I think it could be interesting actually playing it. standby one into wind. I think yeah. could actually be quite interesting because you could you could play standby, bring out two one Rayo. You have twin drives. If you trigger wins, you're just griefing your opponent's board at level one. Like, I actually think that that could be. And then yeah. standby also because the standby has a soul trigger. It actually works with the level three win combo because it reveals soul triggers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that could actually be 
potentially something interesting to look into. That's probably the one combination. Yeah, and the level one, uh, the, the level one standby combo even just has built-in twin drive. So you stand out the two, and it's like, all right, let me try to trigger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Tr tr you trigger win the win, and you're just like wins, wins, win, wins, win, 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 win. Yeah, yeah. I, it does solve one of the biggest deficiencies about that two one is that you can only get it down at level two. Oh, look, let me dig for win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you 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 stand by out like rail first, you hit like another standby, you ring this out. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, that could be pretty interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe even like five standby, three wind or something. Yeah. No, on my end, I was like maybe considering like having thoughts about putting together like a wind door even. Because I think like the level one door combo is like fine. Yeah. But I think wind has a bit more potential upside in terms of generating more resources so that I can kind of go into aggressive lines a bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, two zero two zero monster has a soul trigger for the for the level one win combo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, this is true, this is true. Uh-huh. The one yeah. Mm, I'd have to really play around with it, but it sounds fun. From, from overall I, I was very impressed by the win combo. Um, even though if you're playing wind door, you don't hit on the doors, but like you probably want to trigger those anyways for the purposes of like the triggers mm -hmm. when you like top check and it's a door, you're just like, oh, okay, I just plus one done. Yeah. Um, the more, more importantly, I think it's like the whole, the whole, you just get more stock. Right. Ideally. Um, and with more stock, you can potentially just have more open plays. So, you know, hard to say, but level one combos in this set are definitely really really cool yeah, i just thought of another thing so mm -hmm. he plays so he played the the level one that says when you play a win and you reveal two or higher uh -huh. so this so you play the the two zero monstery and then you play the two zero event and then you play the three two monstery so you're just getting all of the cards it, it yeah uh, you have like basically 10 cards in the package that are all twos and hires yeah right so well, you're I, probably playing like three counters as well. You're probably playing a couple early play healers, playing the full meal. All right, you're just hitting everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that sounds like it could be a deck. All right, clearly we just need to like swap the pieces. <laughs> we take one half of this deck and put it in the, on the early, another half. We're just making some like Frankenstein abomination decks exactly. right here. Yeah. Yeah. And this is clearly how they wanted us to build this. I, I guess the eight door build doesn't really have door synergy. I don't think the set has that much door synergy. It just kind of is I what it is. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, in terms of testing the limits of what a bad trigger like wind has to be, I think that level one combo on the wind is where we want to be in terms of being able to play bad, bad like poor triggers. Mm -hmm. So. Overall, I think this was a really fun set to to kind of like brew and test around. Mm -hmm. um, I was really having to make a lot of difficult decisions, especially during the level zero game. I think nowadays, why deck building is always going to be sort of the, the the split ends are going to be at the level zero. One, twos, and threes are mostly going to build themselves based on the class combos you want to play. But when a set has so many different level zeros at your at its, its disposal, I think a lot of player expression will really shine in deck building when you look at what they're running at level zero, both in terms of the overall number of level zeros and also what they choose to play. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I definitely think that we looked at a lot of really, really fun stuff yeah. in the set. I, I think like as someone who is not a fan of Ayakashi Triangle as like an IP mm -hmm. and knew like almost nothing about mm -hmm. the IP coming into this, like actually like building the decks and like trying to like figure some of this stuff out has been a lot of fun than some of the other decks that we've looked at recently. Yeah. I kind of want to like watch this show now, honestly. Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I did like Tool of Root quite a bit. I'm not going to say that I really care for any of these character designs at the onset. But it has made me want to check it out more than uh, I was previously inclined to, which was not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But at the very least, if I watch it, uh, maybe I won't get confused as to uh, which climax is which <laughs> next time. Well, we'll just have to see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this the, the, the show has Harka Tomatsu in it. Is it oh, the, it's the, it's the, the it's the two one girl, it's right? This girl. Yeah, this girl. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> That's like my least favorite uh, like archetype. Just like looking at the pictures here, I was like, I, like this guy is pretty cute, and this girl's like Haruna version two from Two Love Rue. Yeah. That's just a guy, uh -huh. and like none of these other side girls are like my thing, you know. So. 
Yeah, this guy just needs to go back to drawing to a room, man. I miss, <laughs> I miss that show. This is the conclusion that I have reached with this content block. I really miss two of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's. Uh, I think that's gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna leave it off with like my favorite turn one play that I was really hoping we could open, but uh, unfortunately not. This, this this is like so obnoxious, man. Like so crazy. Uh, this looks like my Overlord turn one play. This does look like Overlord turn one play. So, it, it, it basically is like we have a Kotsky bag again. Yeah. Except like it's like slightly better or slightly worse, but all something. Oh, you awesome. you oh you can clean cut this. Yeah. You can clean cut this, you can bounce this, you re re reuse it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's it's good stuff. Alright, that's gonna do it from us for the Akashi Triangle release block. Uh, honestly, this set is a lot of fun. I might bring this back to maybe feature as like a like a, like the companion deck for maybe future blocks. But for the time being, we are going to be done with this series. Coming up, we do have the long-awaited Hollow Life summer premium set and i can finally build my we're suicide. finally we're finally gonna see mike's like twenty thousand dollar deck on the channel i just need i just need a couple more suicide sps how are the brainstorms coming i have three out of four okay. and worst case i will just open product until i get one <laughs> okay um but i do need oh hopefully with a box opening well i that i'm doing for the release i open maybe like two or three more probably one or two more three says uh, for the uh, the ones that will change it to the trial deck one. And then we'll feature that. But obviously we do have a lot of other cool stuff as well. Moomay level 3 combo. Kind of time Moomay is a thing now. Mm -hmm. Chloe uh, and Hawux in general just oh, we got, got a the huge new upgrade. helmet. On, Omega on helmet. play, search for 3-2 and a helmet. Like, oh, this is literally everything that Chloe wanted. And then, like, actually. And like, what else? Like, Suicide Brainstorm. Suicide, 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 Suicide Brainstorm. Brainstorm. You can like double Suicide Brainstorm, double Chloe. You're just like, oh, awesome resources. Yep. Uh, um, what, what other decks we have like we have like an aqua deck we can explore aqua Xion got uh yeah, new the, stuff the, as the, usual the vincent special the vincent special yeah uh eight standby now has like 12 different more one of level threes that they can play yeah like i look at japan and see what they're doing to try to cope with the fact that luna doesn't exist anymore and, and it's just like, like one 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 yes. one 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 two it's like it's like two ima two of this like global 15 and then one 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 it's like okay Go pop off Japan. <laughs> but it's also going to be pretty interesting to see how we explore standby because we have a different ban list. So yeah. we don't get to use Mio anymore. Yeah, no Mio. Uh, oh sevens for Mio. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to put in for like a bunch of those Callies and uh, see if that works out. So it's going to be very fun deck building with Hollow Live. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. And I hope you guys are as well. But until next time, this does wrap it up from Mike and Randall. Wrapping up the Akashi content block. Yeah. Yes. And we'll see you guys uh, in, in like two days. In two days. Yep. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>